Hello. <clears throat> I've returned. Oh, God. What am I getting myself into, eh? What am I getting myself into? I don't know why I'm looking at the augment equipment options. I can't I can't become any stronger. <laughs> I just desperately want to be. Right, come on. <clears throat> let's give this a let's give this a go. There was one I did two attempts at Alatreon yesterday. And one of them looked mighty promising. The second one actually looked pretty good. I delayed its first Eschaton basically forever, and I don't know how. Oh, I, I never got the butter bear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I need the butter bear. Because I was using friend menu and I forgot to get it yesterday. <clears throat> the exquisite butter bear is what I need. Well, let me go get that real quick. It's going to be a nice little warm-up to think about something else instead of a... Uh... Instead of thingy. Is it geologist that I need? I don't know. Just do both. There's the one level of botany I can put on. Uh, geologist. There. Geology and... Geology. I don't know if it's special gathering points, which is what I think it is, or if it counts as the, like... If it's a... Uh, the butter bears, I would assume, would be a herb. This will work either way. Optional... I can do the butter bear quest. Just until I get it, I guess. Unfortunately. I, I need... Safeguard. Literally cannot do it if I don't have safeguard. So we might have to do this one a, a wee few times. It allows me to reacquaint with the controls of this rather than thinking about for you motion. <clears throat> I need to tenderize his head. Every available opportunity. I need to make sure... That I am taking every chance I can to hit the said head, tenderized or not. If he's near a wall, I have temporal to wall slam him. For some extra damage. Which will hopefully prove to be beneficial. Didn't know this patch was here. I need the rare drop, is what I need. Specifically from this quest. Where you do, like, the extra borrowing animation and then... And then grab it. That's the animation I need to see here. <clears throat> what else do I need to do? Pray? <laughs> Basically, I need to get good RNG. He needs to do good moves. Ideally, a lot of lightning where the lightning starts away from him, not next to him. A lot of the, like, multi-lightning strike move that strikes down the whole map, that would be helpful. Definitely some luck involved in this, I think. 
Also, the more he stands next to walls, just the better. The more wall slams I can get off. Oh, there it is. I think. Yep, Manelli and Butterbat. That's what I needed. Thank you, game. And I'm one short, because of course I am. I don't know of another gathering spot that's close around here. I only know of the ones on the complete opposite side of the map. So I guess I'm going to run all the way over there. Well, at least this only took one quest. Oh, is there one here? Is that what this is? Hey, nice. Okay, there we go. Safeguard. <laughs> Obtained. <laughs> There's another one. Properly obtained. Do, 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 do. 954 defense is solid. That's a good amount of defense. If I need to, and it might not be a terrible idea right now, actually, I can go and pump a whole bunch of fuel through the machine to get some more defense. Flip side, saying I've just remembered, I also actually can't boost it by that much. Because I didn't get <clears throat> the bones I needed. Just the normal bones. To be able to... Build the armor. Augments, dragon bone artifacts. So we'll just go. Okay. Okie dokie. Come on. It's fine. Just gourmet. Yep. Favorite platter one. I'll get safeguards. It's all good. Make sure my item set's solid. It is. I've got normal drugs, not mega drugs. Onwards. Onwards. Hey, Altrad. So that's a good attack, but in a bad way. Because of the lightning started next to him. But that is what I want to see. That attack. That's the good version of it. Also, if I can, I want to be cheeky and proc the evasion mantle like that for the 30% extra damage. Because that's going to be really bloody helpful. Dragon Blight doesn't matter. I don't need to care about it. The poison damage would help. But it's not important enough that I need to, like, waste my Null Berries, which should be used on getting Ice Blighted or Water Blighted. Shit. Or lightning. Like that. Okay, that's a temporal mantle because he's flying. Just to ensure that I can do this. Get the weaken while he's down.
really upsetting that that missed, honestly. Would also be nice while I have this mantle up to try and get a wall slam. To be honest. So I might actually try that right now, because he's... He was in a good spot for it, but then he moved in a bad way. <clears throat> that would have been a really good wall slam. That's a shame. Good hit there as well with the aerial. Means when he starts enraged flying, I'm it's gonna take a little bit less time to try and get a mount. Like right now. He's in a bit of a bad spot for me though. Need him a bit more this way. That's a bit better, but not perfect. That seems like it might be good. Get the tail's not ideal. He's being a bit of a dick here. With this flight. gonna do three of these so if I can position him in a good spot go land from that damn okay no mount for me it's fine it happens nice That should be another tenderize. Another bit stacked up towards mounting there. Kind of fucked my stamina a bit. Did it kill me? Well, at least not yet. No, it didn't kill me. Good. Need to get rid of that ice blight. Because it'll kill me. Good hit. No, the lightning attack. That's so unfortunate. And again. Don't do another one. Good. I don't know if this will work, but I have to try. It would do such a wonderful thing to delay phase one. Good. Good. Okay. I'm going to go for the tender eyes again. Just refresh that head tender eyes. Yep. Perfect, perfect. We've got the ancient potion and then the drugs. Use rocks and fortify. Gives me good damage. And now I've got Evasion Mantle back up again.
Okay, not ideal timing, but it's fine. I was just trying to prep it a little bit more. I didn't think I was going to get it. It's all right, though, because I'm definitely going to have evasion mantle procs to give me extra damage here. Which is going to be super nice. And his head is tenderized, so it's good use of that as well. Good. I think I just saw a pod there. Oh dear, Alistrion, yep. One of two things I have left to do on this challenge run. And I don't know if it's even possible for me. It's possible, but I don't know if it's possible for me. Really don't have any pooky stuff, yep. Please work. Shite. It's fine. I didn't think that'd piss him off. It's actually not fine now. I'm trying to do it with only Pookie stuff at least. Thank you, Temporal, for that head tenderize. Wouldn't have got it otherwise. that off. No! I bounced! It means I didn't hit his head. It's fucking chest plate thing instead. Damn it. Good. Okay, full head break. Chaotic Gala weapons good? Yeah, they're really good. Chaotic Gala weapons are really good. They're a bit dodgy. Because of the way that their unique mechanic works. Like, they have two affinities. They have a, a good affinity and a bad affinity. Um, the bad affinity gets added to the good affinity if you remove the frenzy virus otherwise you only have the bad affinity oh i got stunned well at least i got the wall slam off it's 
it's like two percent of his total health or something. Can't remember how much wall slams do. Time. Felt like I had to go for it though. Don't drink that max potion right now. It's pointless. Get this tenderize. Good. That's the health, the stamina, drink. Drink this. Go. Christ. Never mind that wall slam him. I was just about to start talking about how I could wall slam him, but I had to bend that idea real quick. Returned to piss me off when I'm doing other trailer tips. I don't think I can hit his head here, so I'm gonna go for his arm. I know that feeling, human host. I know that one. It's really annoying. Second pod. Don't know what that means, but it's the second pod. Means progress, at least. Good. This is fine. I rolled it! <laughs> I was expecting Temporal to save me. I didn't expect to roll it. Game fucks with you. What game are you playing? No, don't do this. This is bad. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that did not sharpen. Are you kidding me? Fucking damn it, game. No, I need to sharpen his heads in the wall. Okay. 
was honestly a catastrophe of fuck ups there. The fact that I didn't sharpen is really sad though. I didn't it sharpen because he hit me on the last like one to five frames of the animation. <laughs> Don't know if I'm even gonna have time to tenderize him here to be honest. I'm not on the head. He's on low heartbeat, but that's... I have to kill him. Now? He has to die. Before he eschatons. I don't think that's good enough. Unfortunately. Especially since I don't have the head tender eyes. It hits not helping. Please don't move. Good. This should work. Also, that just tenderized his head. Oh, that's so fucking good. I don't think it's going to be enough here, but that was really nice. There's the third part. That's so early. That's so early. Why did he have to start flying? Fuck. Oh, 
That retenderized his head at least just then. Cost me basically my entire temporal, but that's well worth it. That sucked. He was one slap? What? Fuck. I can, I can see it. I can see him run into the middle. It's any second now, man. Fuck! Uh, I was stunned! Fuck! really good but it wasn't good enough I mean I've nearly got the research to level 4 which means I'm going to be able to instantly see when he's de dying <laughs> when he's going to have a skull Damn it, man. This is a sick fight. It's a really, really good fight, yeah. Oh. This is one of those times. This is one of those times. Where I really wish I had that mod on that showed the health. So I knew how close I was. But it's part of the game to not know the health. Oh, why did I just do that? Uh, I'm gonna go on this quest and then immediately abandon. Hey, you void. Can I show the build? Yeah, I'll do it once I uh, abandon this quest and come back. Or return, I should, is what I should do, actually. Uh, return from quest, yes. I need to reset my food there, because I ate like a dum-dum. <laughs> the only thing you really know of, need to know of my build that's important, Void, is I have... Crit draw free. Second page is just speed eating one, flinch free one. That's the build. Water attack and power prolonger not coming into effect at all. What's a good starter build for an unskilled new gamer? Uh, what game and where are you at in the game, folks? Honestly, my recommendation, if you are new, is just to play the game. Don't go for a build. Don't Don't go for, like... You know, specific weapons that are going to help you out more than others. Play weapons that are fun and build stuff that you think looks cool. If you look at a skill and you're like, man, that skill seems really good. Get that skill. Doesn't matter if it's terrible, right? Fuck it. You got to learn somehow. What I will say is right at the start of the game... The first large monster you fight in almost every single Monster Hunter game across the board usually has pretty good starting armor. So for Monster Hunter World, that's Great Jagras. Uh, for you and free you, that's uh, Great Jaggy. For 
Generations, that is Great Macau. Those small monsters that you fight first is like your... It's a large monster, but it's a small large monster. <laughs> that one is almost always a good place to go. For just some, some starting armor. In low rank, you don't need to worry about skills at all, other than just maybe to learn what they do. But you don't need skills in low rank, it's, it's completely unnecessary. I assume you didn't drop even one crit boost. If I did, it'd be in there, trust me. <laughs> crit boost, every point of crit boost is such a massive DPS increase for me, right? Considering I'm basically only draw attacking. It's like a 5% DPS increase. But, didn't get it. I even used um, the machine with the bronze tickets and the silver tickets. Didn't get any. I get 86 bronze tickets and 70 something silver tickets and I didn't get a single one. So upset. One slap. I still think going for that tenderize is the best choice in that time frame. What am I doing at the moment, man? Playing like a gibbon. Come on. Yep, one slam, two slam. Go onto the head. Slap and shoot. That's the he that head break is actually extremely unfortunate. Because that stagger would have been really nice. Oh, I thought he was doing the breath. Fucking up. Fucking up a lot. Pull it back in. No, I need to get away from that rock. Absolutely not, hints. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even, like, capable of doing this. Hold, go. so much. I 
Oh, I can't miss the easy ones like that, man. Yep, there's Eschaton. That was quick. I did not stall that for a good amount of time at all. I failed last time I tried. Yep. Of course I did. I'll probably fail this one because I've already made too many mistakes. I've, I've tried to, like, put this into people's minds a few times now. I genuinely have to play for my skill level essentially perfectly to be able to win this fight with the skills that I have. This is so incredibly difficult for me. You know, some people are out there doing these fights naked and stuff. That's not me. That's, that's not... I'm not the one doing that, right? I'm the one out there in full endgame gear still struggling. <laughs> I do think getting that second hit there like that is worth it, if I can. Even if it doesn't have the crit. That one sucks, did I miss? I hit the head, that's all I care about. No, I didn't charge it! Should have rolled to the side, tried to roll backwards, roll backwards a bit weird. That's dragon again. Lag was horrifying, but cool. Done. Head break once again, unfortunate time, but hey. Better then than it could have been in a lot of other places. This is a free tenderize, because I got onto it so quickly. Didn't come quite far enough, I don't think. No. I need him to be a little bit further towards me. That's going to be too far. Hey, he's landed. That's fine. Preferable, in fact. Anytime I can turn that attack into a tenderize and a free damage opportunity is a happy bloody day. Is that attack guaranteed stun? No, good. 
I really need to slam him into this wall soon. Trying it now. Because he's going to run to the middle soonish. And if I can get this wall slam, it delays it. Please. Good. How do you get onto his head without the hook? I mean, I'm using the hook. I mean, the clutch claw. I'm using it. Otherwise, I don't think you can. Just didn't see it. Yeah, I do it real quick. <laughs> I kind of have to. There it is. Uh, sharpness is good. Tenderizing the head's the best thing I can do. This one. Gonna be honest, not looking good. Based on the amount of damage I've done so far. Not looking good. One day, I'll have insurance in here, and one of these attempts is going to be so much better than the others. <laughs> if, just if insurance appears. That's all I need. It'll make one attempt just infinitely higher chance of winning. I won't even feel bad about it. <laughs> Can't afford to feel bad about using insurance to win, man. It's too hard. I think that's the first part. Which means I am well and truly fucked. Bad roll. I didn't want to get stuck into a pattern of just rolling backwards over and over again there, which was about to happen, though. damage for this. Man, I felt like I was tearing him a new asshole there, but I just don't know if I've done anything. His health's not on low, that's for sure. That's a free tenderize, which I needed. So that's good. Wait for my cat. Please give me the bound. Thank you. Come on. 
I think it's worth doing this one as well. I really hope he lands from this good. He's on low. No! I can't be missing. Well, Slam, this is this has been a good delay on this phase. This has been fan fucking tastic. Come on. This is worth a backwards one, I think. <laughs> not if I hit his chest, it's not. Okay. Honestly, the delay I got off there was massive. Tenderizer went. He's on low, but I need to kill him. Which is going to be real tough. Really can't evade any of those bursts. So I'm not doing the the fight the way you're intended to do it, Daemon. The way that you're intended to do this fight is that you bring elemental damage. So if he's in fire mode, you bring ice damage. And then those massive bursts, you can shut them down so they do less damage. And you can, if you do enough elemental damage to him before he does that burst, you can literally just stand there and wail on him and he basically doesn't hurt you. Using raw damage for this fight is not how you're meant to do it. But I can't get any elemental damage. So what I have to do is kill him before he can do four of those bursts. Which is reasonable to do if you don't also have Pookie Pookie armor and thus dog shit skills. <laughs> Now this is all there's there's a reason why these are bonus goals for this challenge run. Is this regular Alatrail? Yes. Maybe Alatrail was done long ago. I did baby Alatrail before I even got the augments. Am I winning? No. I think I've made too many mistakes on this attempt. He's flying again, fuck. That was!
I think that's it. I just fucked up too many times. I fucked up this fight too many times in general, but especially right there, that was an unacceptable amount of mistakes in a row. so difficult man I feel like I'm playing like I, I made some big mistakes in that last phase and I've taken some hits for sure I feel like I'm playing really fucking well though <laughs> I have no idea, Jordan. Um, I, I tried to find yesterday, desperately tried to find um, how much damage you've done to a monster once their heartbeat is essentially flatlining. And I just couldn't find any information on it at all. Because that would be the, the the best thing to know. Smoke bombs make him land? Oh god, that's going to make things so much easier. I didn't know that. No, because I, I don't want to know exactly how much health he's got, Summers. I want to I wanna estimate it. What element does the Pookie Greatsword have? Poison. <laughs> I didn't know smoke bombs caused him to land. Otherwise, I would have farmed some more smoke nuts and ivy. I know they make fatty land quick, but I don't know if I need them for fatty. I'm not going to be able to use smoke bombs for a while. Because I'll have the ghillie mantle. Because I don't see any way in the world that I do enough damage to Fatty unless I have the the Gelly Mantle like cannon set up at the start. I I just I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Am I eating for insurance? I can't. I can eat I'm eating for safeguard, which I can do consistently. Eating for insurance isn't something I can do. Every quest. Because it's a daily skill, so I just have to hope it shows up. That was a really good quick tenderize. It was incredibly greedy and it paid the fuck off. That's also really fucking good. This is a good start. Oh. 
Gross. Oh, he went for me? I've got it is yep. You always forgotten well there are two skills for extra yeah. It's double cast skills in this game. It's not a daily, you can get it with a six drinks food combination and a ticket. Insurance? Really? I thought insurance was a daily skill. Yes? Oh my god. Safeguard? No, I've got safeguard. I want insurance. I, w I want both. Can Aloe's horns break when not in Dragon Element? No. They only break in Dragon. That was greedy, but I had to try. That's what I want to see. I think this is a re-tenderized situation. Still trying, my dear. This one's probably looking the best out of any of the ones I've done recently, though. So far. It's fine, I got the mantle off. Stay down. Fucker! There we go. I have no stam. Oh shit. That was a bad jump. Please give it to me. Please, Alice Round. Yes! <laughs> that was so lucky. That's pod number one. That's big. That's the quickest I've seen the first part of here. That hit his neck, unfortunately. This is really dumb and probably isn't going to work. No, don't do it. Now this could work. So I'm only going to do two. 
please. One. Come on! Don't go for the tender eyes. He's gonna run to the middle, probably when he gets up. I can tenderize him there. Okay, you got Angie. You gonna get Angie, then run to the middle? No, you're still going! Oh my god! Come on! I'm running out of sharpness. Fuck yes, that was amazing, phase one. <clears throat> Absolutely fucking phenomenal. Okay, I gotta keep that going. I gotta keep that fucking going. Come on. Choking it a bit, bring it back in. I don't like this rock he's standing on. I believe I didn't hit, honestly. Do slaps, slappy slaps, yeah, slappy slaps. Get your ass down there. Tenderize is what this is. Because I'm so fucking far away. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. This is where I wish I had the smoke bombs.
Because this attempt has been so good. I didn't bring any because I didn't want to get used to being able to do it and then run out of smoke bombs. Just rolled that of my own volition. Somehow. Should have just let the tempo will take that. Instead of shoulder slamming. It's hard instinct to get rid of though. It's gonna hit me. Bad roll. <sighs> Come on. You're choking it. You're choking it. Welcome back, comrade. Right. That's so bad. Shit. I could have slammed him into the wall. That was not a good phase two. That was really not good. It's fine. I can bring it back. One was so good. I can bring it back. I can bring it back. Polish is very helpful as well. He's on low heartbeat. I still don't know what the fuck it means, but he's on low heartbeat.
flying. Really wish I had those smoke bombs. Just exclusively going after my cat. Didn't roll it. And then, of course, he immediately moves away. Land, you fucking lizard. Thank you. chance to do that, huh? Damn. Gonna let the temporal do this one. There's another pod. Good hit. Temporal, thank you. I don't know how to properly abuse that attack. I can't get to the head, so I'm going to do this. I don't know if I can do it, man. I don't know if it's enough. It's way too fucking close. Oh, I hate this. If I had the smoke bombs, this attempt would have been a win. I'm convinced. Hey, you messy boy, welcome. No! I should not be getting hit by that attack. That's fine. That's an acceptable trade right there. As long as I'm not stunned, which I'm not. Good. Fuck. I'm stunned. So lucky. Come on. Shouldn't have dived. Works. That's really bad. That's so quick.
zero, Jordan. Don't give me the phrase of disappointment. Oh God. You can't fuck us in this arena. I don't even know where the fuck I landed there. need to do this, please! Don't run to the middle. Please don't run to the middle. Fuck. If you give a shit, my stats, they're there. My skills are there and there. <laughs> I have pookie pookie armor and a pookie pookie weapon. He has 52,000 hit points. <laughs> oh my god. You know how many attempts that was to Lugia? I think it was seven or eight. <laughs> My camera's up. Oh yeah, I got too excited. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, that genuinely, I think, 
is the most impressive thing I have ever fucking done in a game ever. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to top that. Health boost free, focus free, crit draw free, item prologue free, which I didn't even use. Heartbreaker 2, evade when go 2, water attack wasn't used. Power prologue wasn't used. Fortify, evade extend a quick sheath 1. All of those at 1. 3 meal 1, speed eating 1, flinch free 1. 954 defense. Full pookie pookie armor. Pookie pookie weapon. My throat hurts. Double augmented for attack. Custom upgrades. I have uh, attack, attack, element, element. <laughs> <coughs> you should not scream like that when you had COVID a week ago. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Sorry, Dan the Fox. I was very concentrated on my attempt. Um, I believe Jordan answered the question about the way I would as well. Just play it however you want to. Like, there's no set path. If you want to complete the game, what you have to do is do all of the assigned quests. If you run into something and you're starting to struggle a little bit, you get to decide. Do you want to push through it? Do you want to stop, try and hunt for some gear, get some better weapons, get some armor upgrades? It's, it's up to you. It's entirely your choice. <sighs> See, you'll never finish off the quest line in this game. You will. It's a bit of a sandbox, kind of, but if you want to unlock more, you have to do the main storyline. Hey, you're done. Yeah, I just beat Alatreon. The problem we've got now, however, is I need to do Fatalis. Um, I am way worse at Fatalis than I am at Alatrion. Way worse. So this is going to be probably harder. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, Jordan. And I don't want to know how to do it. I want to learn it myself. I, I don't know how to, like... I, people have been able to do this shit where they're like, oh, if you go in these specific spots, you can manipulate its moveset and all that stuff forever, right? I, I just can't do it. Like, I know the logic behind how it works, but I can't have that mental awareness while trying to fight a monster at the same time. It just... It just don't work for me. <laughs> Not at all. Oh yeah, I know that, Jordan. Trust me. If I if he cones, I'm fucking smashed him in the face immediately. And I'm gonna be delighted about it. <laughs> I've I've fought Fatalis before. Right, I've fought him quite a few times. But I just I can't manipulate monsters like that. I have to deal with what they give me and then and then hit them back best I can. Right, the issue here is an issue of heavy artillery.
I don't... The Temporal Mantle is going to be less useful for me, so I'm going to switch it for the Gilly. But the thing is, I kind of need everything I've got. And I, I need the Evasion Mantle so I can dodge an attack on the floor to get the damage boost. No, Temporal, you need Master Rank 200, Gordon. Because you need to get the very... Do you need 200? You need 100 plus because you need to get the, the full post-game quests. I'm only Master Rank 52. <laughs> I can't get rid of Quick Meal. Quick Meal is so important. So is Quick Sheaf. Evade Extender. I don't know if one point of Evade Extender is going to help me, actually. So that could probably go. I need Fortify. Like, I guess I can put the Heavy Artillery in here. But it's, it's not... It's only going to work once, which is for the very first cannon. And I don't know if it even works for that, actually. Problem is, I need the ghillie to get the cannon set up at the start. Maybe I just try and do it without heavy artillery. Other than in the ghillie mantle. Just put it in the mantle and that's it. It's the best shot I've got. Only works for the first shot? Yeah. Not ideal. I'm so much worse at this fight, man. <laughs> I'm so much worse at this fight. The emotional cutscene, yeah. Honestly, I would love to beat Fatalis here. It would it would feel really good. I don't think it's gonna happen, and I don't care. <laughs> Not on this attempt, I mean in general. The fact that I beat Alatreon. makes me so fucking happy. I practiced so much against him for the the run where I tried to beat him with every weapon and did it with 12 of the 14. Didn't do it with the bowguns. I fought Alatreon so much. But, uh, Fatty, I have not fought as much. I think this is an excited new from for you. like this character because of that? Yeah. To see the growth is really cool. Dragonite. How many times? 
Am I gonna hear proof of the hero and then fail the quest? <laughs> oh, it's gonna destroy me, man. As long as you break the head, no biggie. I... I need to break the head twice, though. Because I'm not good enough to do it with one head break. Because you can do it with one head break, but I need to break it twice. And that's going to be tough. Real trophy in the quest is the evil eye. Oh, it's not even useful for me, though, is it? <laughs> I can't use Fatalis stuff. That's not helpful. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I love remade Castle Shrade. It looks so good. Sky pierces. Or sky swayers, depending on which name they use. Sky pierce is the high rank one. Sky swayers, the G rank one in free. Broken sky pierces anyone? God fucking damn it, man. Hello, Mace. Welcome. How's the hunts? Exhausting. But I feel good at the moment. I killed on a trail. But now it's the uh the impossible one. How many attempts? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was about seven or eight. Took two hours because of the half an hour yesterday as well, Mace. This one is the harder one, though, for me. For a lot of people, Alatreon might be the harder one, but I learned Alatreon intimately when I did the last challenge run in Worlds. Fatalis, I did not learn to the same extent. So, uh... This might be... Problem. Ed in Kushama? Yeah, he's in Kushama for precisely this quest. Did I get Alatrail? I did indeed, Chisel. I'm surprised you didn't hear me.
That's from for you. He's fine. Yeah, he's just been holding on to it. Aiden uses every weapon. He switches like f six times in the story of the game before you. And then he switches multiple times in this game as well. Whole fish is white fatalis, not not normal base. Wrong one. I'm not too early and it's gonna kill me. Nope, I back rolled it. Nice. I'm not behind that rock. Ouch. I don't know if it's actual language base. I think it's probably Monhan language. If I had to guess. Which means pro someone has probably worked out exactly what the lyrics are, but I don't fucking know. Nope, didn't want to do that. What's Fatty's gimmick? Um, he's got two gimmicks, arguably, simultaneously. Uh, one is if you don't break his head. In phase three, his fire damage is way fucking harder. He does a whole bunch of giant flames. Which the first two, if you don't take cover from them in the correct places, insta-kill you. Uh, the remaining three indicate health thresholds, which is nice. Um, and also do shitloads of damage, but don't straight up kill you. And then... He also has only half an hour on his quest. You have 30 minutes and that's it. Yeah, I think so, Jordan.
30 minutes to the highest health monster of the pack. Yep. Thirty-eight percent, twenty and five. Okay. Right, knocking it down on all fours is going to be a requirement. Because this is so much easier to hit his head. This is a free tenderize. <clears throat> rearranging your room. Ah, nice. Any particular reason or are you just doing it? Because she felt like it. <laughs> Big enough damage is still hard, yeah. I'm dead. Also, that is a problem. That damage. You looted a new desk? <laughs> Sorry? Fucking hell. Cable tray integrator. For that, you have to work out neatly. You need to rearrange your whole room. That's a pain in the butt, but nice. I remember. I probably don't really need to eat for safeguard on this quest, actually. It's probably something more important I could eat for. Moxie, I don't have fire resistance, so it's kind of pointless. Not a bad shout otherwise, though. Polisher could be good, yeah. I didn't think that was going to hit me. Fuck it out. I didn't think that was going to And does stuff, yeah, he life patterns you all the time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tenderize him consistently. I had this problem when I fought him before as well. With a slow weapon, it's really hard to get consistent tenderizers. I did. It's me, yes. It 
It was incredibly fucking close, but I did. I, I could feel he was itching to Eschaton, and I managed to kill him. Close as in, he, he was going to Eschaton literally any second. And I was on my last cart. Timer close, timer close can't happen because if he Eschaton four times I die. Hey, well done, it's me. I didn't survive somehow, yeah. I desperately wish it would be such an emotional, like actual emotional and powerful payoff if they actually killed Aiden here. It would be so fucking good. If it was like, no, dude is actually just fucking dead. It would really hammer home how bad Fatalis is. really just would have nailed it home that he's just fucking horrifying. The black guy there? Uh, the... I can't remember what his name is. Is he the Admiral? No. He's the leader of the commission. He leads the whole... He's like the leader of the guild. The general is what his, his name is. <sighs> no, no, I can't handle it. I don't think I can. What's up, lizard boy? That's the way I now. You have to do phase one solo. Only the first time. You only need to do phase one solo once.
Way. That one, you can do this quest service from the get-go, yeah. Most people quit out at this point, anyway. Because um, you want to be able to use the cannons as well. At the start in phase one, which I didn't do, because it would have given me a knockdown for free. But it feels weird to use them while Aiden's there. Because Fatalis just doesn't target Aiden. He only targets you. And if you go invisible, Fatalis is just like, what's going on? And it just doesn't look right. <laughs> so I don't do it. Because it's some, like, serious cognitive dissonance. <laughs> I don't think that's the right phrase, but hey. Oh! <sighs> Okay. Let's let's learn. Hmm. I mean, I want to. You know what? Just keep going with this attempt. I want to push him as far as I can. When he gets to phase. Two, when he's in phase three, sorry. That's half health. I know that much. Strange Demise, you think that's what it's called? I don't know what his special attack is called. Strange Demise is a good name for it, though. His special attack is I killed a fucking castle. <laughs> Bitch. Bad. I'm pretty glad with my defense, honestly. I feel like I've got enough defense here. It's it's purely offense that's going to be problematic. Evade extender one, though, I cannot get rid of it. It's incredible.
That's pretty good. Oh, boom. Would have been a good time to uh, weaken his chest. I'm gonna go for it, even though it's risky as fuck right now. Got away with it. Did I though? Nope, I did not. Please don't kill me. Please fuck. <laughs> but I suck at everything. I'm doing this without drugs on purpose, by the way. I want the information. That reminds me, I didn't even use Omegas against um, Alatrion at the end. I did it with normal drugs. Uh. Fucking terrible. <laughs> Don't fly, oh, you bastards. I have this, though. I reckon I could get a siege knockdown actually. Maybe not. Oh well, stopped him. <laughs> Still hit me. Seeing that one minute till the roaming ballistas backup message just sunk my heart. Because I know that that means that this attempt is impossible now. It was obviously going to be from the beginning, but. I'm pretty sure that means this is impossible. That's a bad message. Okay. Am I a bit too far for this? No, I'm just in time. Literally just in time. Nine, my dear. Fuck, I didn't pick this one up. Ah. <laughs> Run.
Go, go, go. Good. Hit it. Fucking coxicles. Okay, third one, you do a tenderize. Don't have time to do a TCS. Only nine, dang, they're gonna go cold. I don't want to eat cold McDonald's nuggets. Okay, I tried to do that, but it didn't work. This attempt was pretty uh, scuffed anyway, but hey. I got him to phase three, that's really important. What I now want to do is I want to desperately try for the rest of this attempt as much as I can. Because every large flame is important. I can get him to 50% health on a scuffed as fuck attempt where I didn't do the cannon strat at the start. And where I had Aiden fucking me up as well, even though he was healing me. It kind of messes with my brain, right? First flame means he's on 38% health. Second flame would mean I got him down to 20%. Second flame would be ideal. That's what I want to see. Pretty sure you don't like great swords. That's fair. Great sword is an acquired taste, honestly. <laughs> In my opinion. Oh! What? I thought I could get away with that. I have no idea how I just made that noise. I don't normally like doing this, but I really want to give this as much of a shot as possible. Officially, his attack is called a Hellfire or Ruinous Pyroclasm. That's pretty good. A hellfire feels appropriate. It's not over the top. It's literally just like... This shit sucks real bad. <laughs> I like that. Simplicity is sometimes more imposing. That's literally like Fatalis' design in a nutshell, basically. As well, right? In a world where you have all these fantastical wyverns and elder dragons with like miasma poison and regenerating scales and all this shit. The Elder Dragon that looks like a stereotypical dragon in our world, that all it does is breathe fire, is terrifying. Because it's tonally dissonant. It doesn't fit. It's wrong. Okay, that's 38% health. That's the mount. That's the siege knockdown. I think I'm just going to do that one and then go for this. 
That was the correct choice. Next flame is at 20% health, which the Dragonator should be able to take him towards at this point. So I can probably fairly comfortably get him down to 20%. I reckon this is doable, actually. Considering this is literally my first attempt. 20% is pretty good. That's a good number. Please get your fucking lizardy ass over here. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Metalist! Go! Both of them here. Oh, I'm gonna have to fail while listening to Proof of a Hero! No! Oh, that's so upsetting. That's 20%. Next flame would be 5, which I'm not getting him to. Fail it loud. Unfortunately, I'm telling you, I ain't happening. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. 20%. On an attempt where I didn't do the cannons. I only got one siege knocked down. And I could get two. Fuck, man. How do you do the cannons, probably? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how you do the cannons. You load... You, know, you load them both all the way up. And then you turn the one that's further away... All the way to the right? You shoot the first cannon off, he sprints at it, you run at him. I think that's how you do it. It's been a while since I fucked with the cannons, right. What skill do I want? Feline Polisher could be really helpful. Moxie will not help me. Is the thing. Uh, let's have a little custom here. Rider could be useful. Moxie isn't going to cut it. Honestly, Riser and Rider seems useful. More invincibility frames while getting up. Groomer I don't care about. Sharpshoot is not helpful for me. This is Polisher again. That's Acrobat, Riser, Groomer, Sharpshooter. This is the same. Iron Carver's not going to help. Harvester doesn't help. Cleats is not useful. <laughs> Garden is not useful. Cool. So if I make this... Th 
for meat. And what the fuck was the other one? This one? Yeah. Two fishies. I could just make it six meat. That would give me attack up large. As well. Well, it just says them all there. That's helpful. Attack up large would mean I don't need to buff going into the fight. I don't know, man. <laughs> Hello, Moff. Why, yes, I did. <laughs> Malatreon is dead. To yours and everyone else and mine's surprise, I actually did it. Somehow. Right, what is really helpful for Vitalis, though? Is, um... These bad boys. Right there. Oh, the smoke bombs as well. The smoke bombs. Of course, to make him land when he flies. Like a dick. That, yes, jump scan you, sorry. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I cannot explain with words. How, like, tense I was inside my body at that point in time. Like, I was... I felt like I was wrapped around myself. I was so... So scared. It was pure relief. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to even think about now. Ooh. I think that's that's fine. There we go. I did eat. Let's give this another go. I think this is just going to be a question of learning the fight pretty decently. Because I already got him down to 20% on my first attempt, which seems... Why did I just do that? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> what? Just eat a bite pill. <laughs> that seems pretty solid to me. 20% on my first attempt. <clears throat> I have the cannon strats. He's going to have a tenderized stomach and head. Which is going to make damage a lot better. I have might seeds to do more, might pills, sorry, to do more damage as well. I think you turn this one all the way. Like this. But I'm not too sure. And then you turn this one a singular time. And then go pew. And then he should charge me. Then I can run over here. And peel him again. It didn't beat the knockdown. Oh, I need heavy artillery for all of it to get the knockdown. 
Oh, fuck. That ruins everything, man. Do I get rid of a single point of health boost? The whole reason why that's so useful is because of the, the siege knockdown that it gives you. But all it's going to do now is fuck up the siege knockdowns later on. I might be dead here. No, I get away with it. Ooh. Yeah, I can't afford to not be fighting him every possible moment of this fight. I thought that was way too early. Nice. I'm going to have to get used to doing his phase three with only one head break as well. Because I think I did pretty good on the head break front last time and I still only got one. Because I've only got a part breaker two. Shit. It's just really fucking difficult, man. He's spamming this attack. I think I preferred it when he was spamming. <laughs> this. Unfortunately, I need to figure out how to time that one. Because that's one of the best opportunities I'll get. Let's get a good head hit in. Man, he's really spamming that bad boy. He's liking that attack right now. his stomach which is good stomach's like the second best place to hit it's really hard focusing my cat it's fucking me over right now I need my cat here for the extra fame even with the five Safe. Sorry, yeah. Also, the cat's faint keeps all your buffs and stuff on, so it's really useful. As opposed to a normal faint.
He's poisoned! <laughs> I don't slinger burst there. I, 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 TCS is gonna do less damage than a quick draw for me, Mace. Because I don't have any damage skills other than crit draw. You gotta remember that. My only damage skill is crit draw. Which is why I'm <laughs> playing the way I am. <laughs> why not full charge burst uh, draw attack into the TCS? Because if I do a pullback attack, which is way quicker, I can follow it up with a tenderize. And keep the head tenderized the entire time. Which is going to do more damage than a single TCS will. I just fucked it up on that particular one. Oh, did the pullback is the 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 great sword charge where you pull behind yourself, when you go backwards and then. That's what I mean. I don't know what it's called. <clears throat> Strong charge last? Oh, okay. Grab this. Then grab this. Thank you, Ty. Strong charge slash, yeah. That's not enough time, I don't think. It worked. That would be, it would be nice if it was, because it would mean I beat Fatalis today. As sad as I will be to see this challenge run go, because it's been very fun. Do I have the next thing picked already? No, I pick it live. Always. Literally because I have the Pookie Weapon Charm, yeah. Just have that shit now, forever. Oh, Pisticles. Come 
Try and kill me. No, go away. Hey, infamous distant. Welcome. And Evade Extender 1 is so perfect. Not if you roll the wrong way, it's not, but in general, it's really good. Oh no! I don't know if I can afford to take a cart. Ideally, I want him going into phase 2 by 15 minutes. Or phase three, sorry, by 15 minutes. Nope, fuck it. It, it. I missed it. I don't get it. Fuck defense anyway, man. It's not going to make a difference. Well, demon armor skin is pointless in this quest. It is not going to reach a defense threshold. Where in which I do not die from two attacks. <laughs> Yeah, I always have done, Mace. Shit. I need to get this. Hopefully it won't kill me. No. Ooh. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Part one. Done. Let's get some need tenderize again. Why does he always do it whenever I'm about to fucking wall slam him? <laughs> it's like he knows what I'm thinking about it. Fly off. No. Ah! 
Hello, Spagani. It is the Pookie Run indeed. Okay, I can't use Maxis to heal anymore. Wait, no, I can do this. <clears throat> wow, you have missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the last fight in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this run's gonna be it though, unfortunately. Time to restart. No, practice is important. Every single tiny bit of practice is important against this guy. Not this fight, the run. Oh no. Do it all again, but faster. Oh god. Turn it into a speedrun. For Silas percent, but I only use Pookie Pookie gear. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something that Bagel would uh, do once he's had enough of Fatalis percent becoming too easy for him. Although it'd probably make it easier. Although longer. Oh, yeah, it makes Zora kind of annoying. Kuliaku Run isn't in the list, Spagani. But it could be if you want it to be. In the Discord server, suggest it. I don't mind doing more themed runs. Themed runs are fun as hell. No thanks. I, oh, I just died because of that. <laughs> I was about to say I'm concentrating as well. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't gonna win this attempt anyway. How you doing? Good. Good. Have a good day. Have a math day. A math day is is an improvement. Thank you. You love Cooler, you wouldn't want to put it through this torture. <laughs> Fair. That's not a siege knockdown, that was just a flinch. Done worse than last time. Actually, I'm doing equivalent with last time. It's actually probably a good thing, considering I don't have Aiden's damage. Not that I know if he does much, but... You still haven't beaten Fatalis? It's fucking difficult. Right. Please. Thank you. I think you'll ever be able to. You can do it. It's tough, but it's doable. It just, it really takes some knuckling down. And some hard commitment. If you can't do that, then yeah, you might not be able to do it. But if you can, you can do, you can do this.
You got a guy. Thanks for fucking buying spaghetti. <laughs> it's good to have you. Good to see you again. It's been a little bit. Do not get hit by the mountain attack. That's death. That's gonna kill me. I'm in a bad spot. Too busy distracted by my inventory. Right, as I put the evasion mantle on. That really sucks. Level two, man. Ah, uh, this is a loss. This is a loss, and it's worse than the first attempt by a, a good margin. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna get the second flame out. I haven't even got the first flame yet, for Christ's sake. That's good, at least. I don't think this is going to work, but I got to try. Nope. And now I just pissed him off. Gonna be equivalent with the first attempt actually. Right. Dragonator does 10% of his health, I think. If memory serves. I think that was a wing break, not second head. Looks like it. Holy shit, that was short. A 
I swear to god, this is just gonna be the day of me losing to Proof of a Hero. Proof of a Hero twice in a row though. Good, good news. There, right? But it's worth. Me dead here. Yeah. Good attempt. I still reckon that's doable. The question is, what do I do about heavy artillery? So I don't know. The easiest echo to get rid of. Is a health boost. I think I could survive it. I unironically think Gobbler is a, a requirement. unfortunately don't have any other level 3 helps. Ideally, if I could get a level 3 vitality, a level 4, sorry, vitality slash health boost, I wouldn't need to have vitality, what did I say? Health plus um, speed eating. Would mean that I could have, I don't need flinch free, like it's pointless. I don't have a health plus anything, nor do I have a speed eating plus anything. I think I have to ditch a single point of artillery or health boost to get heavy artillery. Insurance is the daily skill. So if I eat this... Is there any other ones that give me insurance? Rider, Acrobat, and Insurance? That seems good. Then on quest, I can eat for Safeguard. Oh, why do I care about that? It doesn't... It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I don't care about insurance. I think a few more attempts, maybe, and then I think I could clutch it. If 
if I can get him to phase three with 15 minutes left, I think it's a win. I'm just going to eat my food here. think about anything I could do. I don't think getting rid of point of focus is a good idea. I'm not really iframing anything, am I? If anything, I'm distancing stuff. So I could probably, like, free meal is nice, but I could get rid of free meal and evasion. Heartbreaker tool specialist is really nice. Because it means that my evasion mantle is going to come back quicker. While Divine Blessing is really good, I don't think one point of Divine Blessing is going to make the difference. I might try that like that. I have a Sheaf 2 deco, that would be amazing. No. I have a Stealth 2. <laughs> of course I do. Hmm. If I got item wise, I should restock that for one. Smoke wants to make him lad, he didn't fly. I don't need those because I got the gilly, and he shouldn't fly that much. So I'll clean the inventory space. I think I can get rid of the armor skins to remove the urge to use them because it's not going to make a difference defense wise I don't think Mega Drugs 40 is like 8 attempts. I reckon I could do it within 8 attempts, so I'll take Mega Drugs instead of normals. Just don't need those.
I would really prefer to have... <clears throat> um... I, I completely forgot what I was saying there. That actually just fully left me. Oh, shit. I don't have anything slash fortitude, do I? No, that would also have been really good. How's the food? Nourishing and restoring my energy. any evade extender either to try and switch out this. Did I have any focus spores? No. <clears throat> My thinking here, one siege knockdown is not going to make a difference. I don't think that's going to make enough of a difference. Pardon me. I think the health boost, if I don't have health boost free, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> it's more important. I think that is the end of me if I don't have that. I just want to look at something with armor. And I'm going to regret it immensely and there's basically no way I can change it at this point. Go down. Okay, no, I did pick the ones that didn't give item prolonger where possible. Okay, good. Okay, it doesn't want to do that because it considers it a waste. Right. Oh. It's a little bit more defense. Hey, so have. Have I succeeded with Pookie and Fatalis? No. It's currently what I'm putting deep consideration into and thought. A big problem I've got at the moment is my, my decos are not very good. <laughs> um, but I don't have the slots in order to be able to put in heavy artillery anywhere but other on my ghillie mantle. And my ghillie mantle's not, you know, the most ideal place for it because it only works on one of the cannonballs. So I don't even know if the cannonball set up at the start is worth doing because I don't get the siege knocked down. But it still does good damage and stacks siege on him to get a siege knocked down. I think it's worth it anyway. Because it means that the roaming ballista gets a siege knocked down. Yeah, fuck it. Give it another go. <clears throat> I don't really think there's much I could prepare other than ditching a health boost. 
And that is a dodgy bloody idea. I should have Gilly Mantled. Hopefully that doesn't fuck with anything. Just wastes a little bit of time. Which is unfortunate, but happens. Cat just loaded an extra cannonball into a full cannon. <laughs> How does that work? I push this all the way. Whoa, 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 not all the way. Oh, fuck. Well, that ruins this. Shit. Some of those definitely missed, I would say. You know what? That's a that's a restart. That's what you get for not doing the strap properly. This ain't going anywhere from there. I took too long. If you take too long with a gilly, he attacks you. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Christ, what am I doing? Didn't pop the gourmet. Let me just post the quest and then come back from it. I'm getting, getting up in my own head now and I'm not doing stuff probably. Hello? Thank you. The attack you had the gilly was on, hacks. It, all the monsters will attack you while they have the gilly on, Mace. You just have to stand still for too long. Or, like, spend way too much time in the area with them. If they've got ranged attacks, they'll just start ranged attacking at you. They won't do it very frequently, but they will pop them out. Nourishment has been had. Let's focus up. <clears throat> Fatalis. Pop a voucher. Fuck it. <laughs> is that a Volcana poster? That one back there? Yeah, it is. Noise. Yep. Uh, my partner got it for me. They were just in a random shop and I saw it and was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Which shop? I don't know, some shop in Sweden, I don't know. <laughs> oh shit. Um, hello. Thank you. But it's like, it's not a proper poster. It's like a, um, it's fabric -y in a way. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Like a polyester scroll, yeah. It's really weird. It's, it's cool, but it's weird. Thank you, Ty. I forgot to grab the cannonball all the way over. Pardon me. 
Ty's gonna grab on so I can start pushing this cannon. Think about that is good. Not sure though. Do that. And boom. Oh, why? Fuck, man. Hi. Why did that happen? strategy because I don't know how to do it and I fuck it up every time. Hey, you hedgy. I need the damage though, man. Should I just go with one cannon? One cannon might be better. Takes less time on the setup. It does less damage. Let's set up. It should still enable a. Because I'm only going to get a singular siege topple. And I'm going to get two carts worth. So it will definitely enable a singular siege. I don't have to worry about fucking the second one up. Just learn how to do it properly. That seems like a better idea. But that causes the siege. I kind of want the siege topple on the second one. Because that's when he's in phase three. I think I might just do one. I do one. He sprints at me. Problem is then at that point. Like what do I do in the time that he's running at me? It's kind of wasted time. kind of why you do the second one. It's because it makes the time useful. Yeah. Good point, Brain. Not close yet? No, I've only done it... I've only actually had two proper attempts. And then two attempts where I've, like, fucked up by messing up these cannons because I don't know how to do them properly. On both attempts, my first attempt and my second attempt, I got him down to sub 20%. Because I got the, the flame. But I've not got him to do... The third flame yet. Which is 5%. 100% possible. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure it's possible yet. Yeah. Didn't get that perfect, obviously, but hey, it worked. Easier than Alatreon. Not for me, personally, because I've practiced Alatreon a lot more than I've practiced Fatalis. In general, I think yes. For me, no. That's a weird distinction to have, but... I've done a lot of Alatreon. <laughs> and I've not done a lot of Fatalis. Alatreon is cooler, so fair. Honestly, it's... it's Alatreon came out earlier. And once I'd done Fatalis, I was done with the game, right? I'd done the hardest thing the game had. Alatreon, I knew there was still more coming because it wasn't the final title update. So I just did him some more. Is Greatsword my strongest weapon? Greatsword is the only weapon that is feasible for me to use. 
in my opinion. Because Fatalis kind of requires you either be insanely good or you have good damage skills to make up for your like lack of ability, right? I fall in the camp where I need good damage skills to make up for my lack of ability. And the Pookie Pookie armor, which I'm limited to. Coral Pookie armor has three points of crit draw. Guaranteed 100% critical hits on unsheathing attacks only. Great sword's like the only option, right? I don't think there's a single other weapon I could use in that situation. Not really. Maybe hammer, but he's immune to KO. <laughs> I don't even like no. <laughs> Honestly, if I just had some good forward echoes, this would probably be pretty reasonable. <laughs> you can't live without a sword, yeah. The equipment includes coral, yeah. Coral counts as piggy. Is it the Steam Work events on? It is, and I've used it. It didn't give me anything. But it's there. <laughs> True. Just got unlucky, yeah. It did give me one charger. Which I needed. A focus echo. I desperately needed a focus echo and it gave it to me, so. I can't really complain. Steamworks event. If you do the Steamworks at the moment, um, you get, I think, bronze, silver, gold tickets. Which can be traded with the Elder Melder to just flat create decorations. Like, you don't get to choose what decorations you get, but it just makes shitloads of decos. Like, shitloads. I made about a hundred and something decos in one go, and I only put about 8,000 fuel in there. Melding tickets are not standard drops, though. They only exist in um, event times. How do you get them? You don't. You don't. The only way to get those tickets is if there is a, um, if there's an event going on. Because it was uh, it was added when the game was finished. Basically. As like an easier way for people to get some decorations. I haven't done nearly enough damage to the head here. Gonna empty your fuel yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, one point of health boost would cause me to die from that. Also, that was so fucking quick. That death. I do wonder if a, if a mantle that's not the evasion mantle might be better here. And I can slot the heavy artillery into that.
Oh man. That's about right. I think. Perfect. That's exactly what I want, damage-wise, actually. Get the siege locked down right as it's about to run out of ammo the first time around. Gives me a good time to hit the head before phrase three. I actually like that damage. Fuck the heavy artillery. But heavy artillery is going to make me do more damage overall. Uh... <laughs> Damage overall is my problem, not necessarily getting one head break. Christ, it's so difficult to do this fucking fight. Even in theory. I don't know why I picked that up. Pure habit. See shiny, grab shiny. That's a bad time to do that. I got away with it. That's why I like having the cat here. It allows me to make some mistakes sometimes. Divine Blessing. I don't think I had Divine Blessing. Wait a second. Why did I get a damage taken was reduced? Oh, I might have Defender. Should have sheathed my weapon before I did that. No. Wow. I'm um, actually survived. I lived. Survived. I lived. Yes. Nice. I've not done anywhere near enough damage to his head in this quest. I've hit his chest a lot. But I've barely been hitting his head, and that's more important. Though I do have part breaker free now, so maybe I can get away with hitting it less. <laughs>
It's not quite the reason why I slide it in, but I mean, if it works. I didn't want to triple slam him there, but he put me in a bad position. What well, mantle's the best one? Glider mantle? Quickest cooldown? Longest uptime? I think it's the glider mantle. I'm still considering this heavy artillery idea. I've got no fucking idea what to do. Only just now that pod's dropping. Hey, Maru. Welcome. Shit. It's fine, it's only one death, but that's annoying. I'm at the 15 minute mark. This is when I would want the phase three transition, ideally. It's not going to happen this time around, I don't think, but. This would be the spot where it would be perfect for it to happen. It's fine if it happens down to about 12 and a half minutes. I think. But this is where I would want it. I also do not want to fight him all the way down here. This really sucks. Fuck. Have you got a chance here, though? Don't let him get it off. Good. That's a wall slam again. Just really nice damage. Maybe. No, nope, not yet. Why does he always end up the furthest possible bit away from the fort? That was well placed. Yes. That's what I want to see. That's learning. That's good. That's spacing. Spacing is going to help me win. Incredibly bloody important with Greatsword. I learned how to space this fight, like half the battle's done. That's good. 
That was earlier than last time. Ten, minute, ten minutes left hasn't popped up yet. One, two, three. Use this. Use this. Pop that a little bit on the way out. Two, three can go down. What? No. That actually hit me? Fuck. That's such a massive opportunity that I've just lost. Oh, shit. Because he's not going to be flying anymore and that... Damn it! <laughs> I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I have, he, he will start flying again at some fucking point, and I've got the binder safe for it. Now. It's just not ideal. At all. That's his chest broken. Cool. I need to get the fuck away. Okay, I really didn't think he was going to do four. Good. Please let me get this off without punishment. my last max potion. I'm down to normal healing at this point. Chest takes the most damage at this point, but getting his head break makes the fight a lot easier. That's 18%. Not 18, 18%. That's 38%. I fucking wish that was 18%, man. I'm about on pace. If I just play really well. Getting that second headbreak would be such a huge relief. As well. might kill me. Thank fuck it didn't. It's good, 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 go. Come on. not good. F 
Thank you, fucking divine blessing. If I die again, I'm gonna restock. Because my healing ability is so impaired right now. Drag. Please just run straight at me. It's okay, I can restock. Get the fuck up. <laughs> it's quicker to restock than it is to drink the shit. Because I could just pop the ancient potion. Come on, come on. I've even got leftover carts, man. That is not a good pop up to see right now. He will do a flame after this. Twenty percent flame. It's going to be so close and I don't think I'm going to do it. Please. Don't die right now. No! Fuck, come on. I couldn't afford to die. I should have just max potioned and ran the fuck away. Oh, don't have time for demon drug. Just might peel the rest of the fight. If I had... Didn't have energy drinks right now. I'm gonna run out of time. I don't have the time. I'm gonna get the fucking 5% flame and then I'm gonna fucking run out of time. Stupid lizard. That's really bad. That might be the quest. That is the quest. Oh 
meint. I got like a minute left. And he's still got a flame. When is this 5%? Still no? Oh man, I was so much further away than I thought I was. I'm dead. Had to have been below 10%. Damn it, man. I need to do that works. If I take these off of here. Put them on here, maybe. I just have to switch mantles right before I do it. That's all. Oh. Man, an attempt like that hurts way more than losing early on. So demoralizing to be so close. Hey, Ramhard. Welcome. Good. Good to see you. <clears throat> Still got two hours left, man. I got plenty of time. I reckon I was on 10% health. I got plenty of time. I've eaten... I've got my stuff set back up. I need to remember it to myself in the middle of a quest. If I run out of max potions and thus I go back in the camp and I get more. It's so, so, so important that I have the dust, that I have the max potions. Infinitely more important than it is for me to take that little bit of time because I'll spend way more time healing way more time healing than I'm going to spend running into the camp running back out the camp 
<laughs> it's not fun at all. <laughs> than having to drink every potion manually. Does this give me an attack boost? It does, and it's a significant one. Cool. I've fucked up already. <coughs> That's okay. It happens. Gilly now. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't hit. It didn't hit. Ty is failing to climb the thing. Yeah, grab one now, you little shit. Thanks. Yeah, so what I need to do right before I fire the cannon is switch to the vitality mantle to get the damage boost bonus. So I do this, then fire. Run over here, immediately fire this. There's the knockdown. Fuck it, Mr. Tenderize, just do this. Two ones and then a Tenderize. Okay, can't get two ones and a Tenderize. <clears throat> This is a good start. Ah, oh, the mist tenderizer. That one that one's a little bit unfortunate, but that, that happens. That's good. Get it onto the head. <clears throat> it's exactly what I want. Those cheeky little hits like this. Ideally, I'd have some charged ones as well, but it's good. It's good. Hello, Damien. Okay. What do you want to know? Hey, dog on 52. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this absolute fucking nightmare that I'm putting myself through. Right now. Good. Will this be the final day of the challenge? I want to know the answer to that question as well, Ramhard. If I beat Fatalis, it will be. That's bad. How many attempts am I giving it until my soul gives out? I don't know. Until I think it's actually impossible for me. Which will be when my soul gives out, basically.
As someone who just got to Iceborne for the first time, you have no idea how hard this is, but you love it. Have you played through all of Worlds, Dogon? Base world, yeah. Imagine fighting Nergigante with low rank armor. That's basically what I'm doing right now. As a as a frame of reference. <laughs> That was quick. That was good. That was quick. We like quick. Quick is good. Has hammer on the useful to skate? You know, KO monsters, you can't say you really hit the head. Monsters be a big agile goes on. I'm fairly useless, should go around go circular grace. Hammer's incredibly good all throughout the entire game. Um, it does have a few dips, this fight in particular being one of them. This is the last fight in the entire game though, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, because some monsters are just immune to KO. But Hammer, I've killed this creature with Hammer. So it's still doable. Hammer's really good. Um, Hammer still does great damage even if you don't spend all your time hitting the head. So you don't need to worry about that one that much. It's just better at hitting the head. And it will do some more damage. You can go for legs. You can go for, I don't know, tails. It's a bit weird to hit the tail with hammer, but you can. <laughs> I personally, someone who's very good with hammer would put in the, like, the top tier. That I think they're some of the best people to have on a, on a team with you. It's a really good hammer player. It's like a really good greatsword player or a really good longsword player. Like, anyone can do damage. But a hammer player is going to do good damage and also KO the monster for everyone else in the squad. If the monster's KOable. And that's invaluable. I'd also say, actually, from a nice perspective as well, it's a fairly easy weapon to learn. <laughs> Not necessarily an easy weapon to master, but it's one of the easier ones to learn how to use at a decent level. 
which is not to be understated how helpful that is. Some weapons have uh, quite the learning curve. I just fucking missed. It's gonna hit me. The ranged weapons have the detriment of if they get hit a single time, you basically die. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, you're safer because you're at a distance, but also you make one mistake, you're, you're gone. It's over. GG. It doesn't make that much of a difference in the lower ranks, but in the higher ranks, it really does. In the hardest fights, range just die in one hit. You pay for distance. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. I don't know why I did that like that. Melee out damage is ranged for almost the entire game. To be fair. So, Chef. It's only really in the end game that range gets more damage than melee does. And even then, it's basically just like heavy bow gun. <laughs> Uh, Gilly. The quicker weapons like sword and shield are much more forgiving than, say, great sword. Yes. Correct.
was a good roll. Shit. I left to go. Phase three right now, Fatty would be fantastic. Just saying. Wanna fly away? You fuck. Hello, Luna. Yes. Okay, that's really good. It's doable, 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 I can do it on this attempt, potentially. Fucking roll. Max. Sharpen. Might pill. Fucking fantastic. Do I go for his head? Yes. Having the head break would be so good. A full head break, that is. I've already got the first one. Come on. I hope you enjoy. Damien. It's a really fun game. <laughs> I say through clenched teeth. That was too close. Uh, that's even closer. I like that one bit. Whee! Oh, uh, 38%? 10 minutes left. 38%, 10 minutes left. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm 
I'm running out of fucking healing. I need to restock if I die. I'm dead. Oh! Fucking divine blessing. Save me. Hello, sir. Uh, gilly, 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 get him to land. Don't get killed like a pillock. That's my first death. Go, 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 go. Item box. Yep, yep. Go. Fucking restock. I need all the healing. Hey, Aether. That's <laughs> what you live for. Such a challenge. Yeah. It's, it's stressful, all right. I can tell you that much. Stressing me the hell out. I'm going to live less time after this. Dragonator is operational. Gonna go pop that ASAP. Oh, good. Whoopsie. No, he charged again. I need to hit him with both Dragonator bits. Please just stay there, you fuck. Each prong does damage, so I need to hit him with both of them. idea how I'm alive. I'm thankful though. Please go. I don't know if they both hit him. Fuck the head. I need the chest. It's damage time. That should force the 20% flame. It didn't. Mm. That's the twenty percent. That's fucked. I gotta do 20% of his total life in five minutes. I think one of those Dragonators missed. I 
I think one of those drags has just missed and I'm not going to do it because of it. 20% in 5 minutes is, is uh, too tall of an ask. I'm going to fucking try, but... Need him to go down right now or it's not going to happen at all. Nope. Mount failed. Giant waste of fucking time. Why is my stamina out? Oh my god. You wouldn't be saying that, Luna, if you'd been here for the last three proof of the heroes I failed on. <laughs> All I'm doing is failing to proof of a hero today. I can't. I can't get back the air because my ghillie's not up. I think that's it. I think I lose. Such a good attempt. Just absolutely fucking squandered in phase two, man. Road. He's not giving me any good attacks here. That shouldn't have hit me. I'm dead. Not happening. I should have had that by all rights. I had 15 minutes left into phase three. I don't know what I did. 15 minutes left into phase three and I just fucked it up. I don't even know how. You know, it really hurts to see that message, this one guy, right after I just had a really bad loss. <laughs> that actually stings, like, quite a bit, man. I had some bad luck. No, it's just that hard. Fox. No bad luck at all. It's just genuinely that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> 